Let's see, I got some stories. Uh, here, let me tell you about the convention. It was fine. All right, Crash Team Racing, let's jump into it. I'm going to do some um, Crash Team Racing for a bit, and then we'll jump over. Presents a smashing blast from the past. Then we're going to um, jump into my friend Pedro. Alright, um, yeah, so I played this before I left, and I really enjoyed it. And so did the stream. Um, while I'm playing this, I'll tell you some stuff about Too Many Games, the convention. I'm um, gonna just do adventure mode, continue along there. So, how many games? Too many games. Too many games crazy just two i will say this was the best year yet um i don't have any photos for you i only have a photo with arlo <laughs> the only photo i got was of, of me and arlo i think and and me and pat the nes punk who is a friend and so i have uh, i think several other pictures of him <laughs> Um, so that's it. Yep, that's it. That's actually it. Others have taken pictures of me, uh, so that's a thing that happened. But as far as I'm concerned, I just have a picture with Arlo and Pat. So, um, but yeah, it was a good time. I'll tell you what, though. The truth is, I miss streaming. I like being home. I like being in a chair at my home and being able to stream a lot. You know what I mean? It's nice. Vinny, I noticed the look um, of your face in the photos. Yeah, so this, this happens every year. Vinny, you look miserable in your photos. I am. It's a long convention. I think on Saturday I signed for about five, four or five hours. Um, no, it's, it's true. So yeah, I mean, I did the best I could. I just wanted to meet everybody. At least four, yeah. So, no, I mean, it was great. I'll tell you about it as we continue, but I have to remember how to play Crash Team Racing first. Oh, wow, this level looks awesome. Holy shit. The graphics in this game... Legit. Um, I've been... I didn't get a chance to play this on the Switch while I was gone. This is a PS4 version. But I, I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, that game was hard. It's a real hard game. This game does not fuck around. Um, and everybody at the con was telling me, Hey, Vinny, Crash Team has a very high skill ceiling. Yeah, no shit. It really does. Damn it. And I keep screwing up the, um, the boost, or the, the drift. And I know how essential that is, so... I don't know if I like this character as much as I like Crash. It's like if you play Mario Kart, but only play Mario. I know you're out there. Some of you out there definitely only play Mario, or Pink Gold Mario, or FUCK! A lot. Oh god, I hear them. Yeah, baby! Alright. Alright. Oh, shit. YouTube. I mean, of course I knew YouTube was still online. Your YouTube trial period is now over. 
Uh, that was cool. Okay. Okay, I, I remember how to play the game a little bit. So, this is good. This is good. Hi. Once again. Someone just said, Vinny, you just went down on YouTube. Is everything okay? Man, things are far from okay. I'll tell you why. I haven't had New York pizza in a week. That's why. Did you believe it? I got home today. I had pasta. No pizza. No, I had I had um tacos. So does that mean you're not Italian anymore? Barely. You can get hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the boost you'll get when you land. For a bigger boost, get extra air by hopping off jumps using the hop button. Vinny, do you get your pizza from Ray's? Original Ray's, famous Ray's, Ray's on 34th, or Ray's on 1st? Okay, you know, it's funny that you mention Ray's Pizza, because I think Ray's Pizza, the one I had, was actually gross. I've only eaten at one Ray's, and it was gross. So I'm gonna say, if you're in the city, and you see something that says Ray's Famous Pizza, do your research first, because... I don't know if there's a good Ray. If there's a good Ray, you gotta find him. I don't- I haven't found him yet. <laughs> Shit sucked. Hey, if you want to drive in this door, you must come in first place. Hey, if you want to drive forward, press the X button. Um, yeah, so let me, let me just say, I'll throw this here while I'm racing around. Um, this was the busiest Too Many Games convention yet, which means it was a good one, and I'm very appreciative on a one-on-one -on -one level. Uh, pretty much everyone I met was amazing. Um, you know who you are. If I met you, I want you to, you know, know I appreciate you very much. A lot of people gave me gifts. Someone gave me a Tame Impala Lonerism vinyl, which I did not own. And I want you to know... That's badass. Thank you for that. Um... A couple other really cool gifts, too. At some point, I'm gonna go through them. I haven't had a chance to today. As, uh, Paul McCartney once said, Leave it until tomorrow to unpack my case. He said. So, I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like unpacking today. Uh, so fuck that. But I will say that, um, it was good. It was a good time. Also, also, if I can be totally honest about it, very anxiety-inducing. Because it was the busiest too many games yet. And I never really had a moment to myself. And that's absolutely no one's fault. I, I didn't actually understand what that would be like. This was the craziest convention I've been to yet. Um, I, I only got a chance to explore the convention at the very end. I didn't really buy anything, I just kind of looked around. But, I mean, it was the usual stuff. It was bigger this year. Um, my panel went fairly well. Um, I have a little bit of a secret. You may have heard rumors that V-Dub was at my panel. He wasn't. It was just me cosplaying as V-Dub. I thought it would be a good jape. We look alike a little bit, so... Yeah. There was someone in the audience named C-Dub who said he wanted to fight. He wanted to throw down. But... Yeah. Again, it wasn't the real V-Dub, so... You know, we couldn't... There wasn't gonna be a battle. It was unfortunate, because otherwise it would have been a good one. Um, what else? Yeah, the panel was cool. It was, um, in a giant, like, stage. <laughs> it was just a giant open stage. But the problem is... Hang on, let me lower the stuff a little bit. So I don't have to speak loudly, just while I'm talking about this stuff, because this game has pretty cool music. Um... The problem is, because of that, see, I'm, I'm used to doing that room. They have a room at Too Many Games, and it's like, you know, I can connect with people in that room. I can actually make some kind of, like, you know, human connection in the main stage area that they gave me. Which, out of necessity, because, you know, they're, like, last year they had to turn people away, apparently. 
Um, I was cool with it. It felt really cool to be up on a stage. I was, like, comfortable. But I couldn't hear anyone. There were no PAs facing me, so whenever they gave the microphone to an audience member, I couldn't hear them. So I kept asking questions like, Vinny, do you like eggs? I was like, what? what the fuck? Eggs? No, Vinny, do you have legs? Do I have legs? Vinny, do you like Cheerios and chicken nuggets? What? It was a weird fucking panel. You'll see it eventually. Um, but yeah, it was it was hard because, again, the audience could hear the questions more or less. The speakers were facing the audience, but not me. Oh, fuck you, man! Wow, that is horrendous. Stage hazard. Dear lord. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not even drifting, really, but this level is... This level is destroying me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. Um... But yeah, I, I signed, and then there were there were more people than I could get to, so I just I just kept signing, and they let me, which was nice. Um, but yeah, by the end of it, I was just like not I wasn't even a person anymore. I was like a a, a vine pot, and I you know I still try my best. So if you got vine bot, Vinny. And you want to meet me, and I'm like, you know, if you want to meet me, like, on point, you have to get there, like, in the first hour or two. <laughs> Otherwise, I just turn into a robot. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. But yeah, I have some other good memory. Good friends. Definitely good friends. A lot of good, um, you know, people. Um, that's the best part of the convention. Um, yes, I did meet Scott the Waz. I've seen that question tossed around. Fucking hell! And Scott is a nice kid. That's a- He had a lot of people there to meet him. And that was his first fucking convention. And he was swamped. He had this massive panel and- and- Oh, shit! He had a massive, um, autograph line. So yeah, dude- dude got trial by fire. So we'll see. He took my advice. He took vitamin C, and I gave him hand sanitizer, so... Alright, this has to be restarted. This is terrible. Did he know who you are? Yeah, we spoke a couple times previously. Just to, you know, about... Come on. That's about it, really. <laughs> but, um... He's... he's nice. He's good. Nice in person. And he was very, uh, generous with his time, considering it was his first convention. Um, who else? The usuals. Some, some good, good people. And, of course, my friends and mods. And it was great. So, yeah, I had a really good time hanging out. It was just, um, Overload. I was gonna play Stylo from the Gorillas. Overload. 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 Coming up to the top. Vinny, did you meet Failboat? I actually know Failboat from a couple years back, and yeah, I saw him. We got a chance to hang out. Shisa's was there again. I think he and I are bumping into each other a lot these days, which I'm fine with. He's a nice dude. And we had a couple good conversations over a drink. And he did a panel. He did a live boundary break. I wasn't able to see it. I wasn't able to see very much, in fact. But, um, again, everyone that was there, thank you for everything. Like, it was really great. I mean, people b bringing me stuff was nice, but even people just telling me nice things and saying how much, um, you know, my streams uh, brought them entertainment or whatever, that was really, really cool. And, you know, that's the part that I enjoy about the conventions, aside from hanging out with my friends. But, yeah, the sheer volume alone. And again, I was hand sanitizing. I was taking vitamin C. I feel good. I still have a voice. Even though I was, like, at this volume most of the time. So I still have most of my voice. Oof. This, this one's- this is a hard fucking level.
Hell yeah. Yes! Good item! Good item! That was very good. Um, someone said, uh, Vinny. How stinky was it? Not too stinky at all. Vinny, has anyone eaten the hand sanitizer? If not, I will. Please don't. Um, someone was like, actually, a lot of people were like, hey, Vin. It, this looks delicious. Can I drink it? It's like, fuck, no. Don't do that. Vinny, play a different character besides Crash. Well, let me get good with one character first, please. Like, Crash is like, you know... Like the basic character. Can I play Luigi? Um, yeah, I'm gonna get better with Crash before I decide to... before I move on to a different character. Um... Congratulations. You win a trophy. Team Trance Green. Okay. What else? Uh, someone said, what do you do in your panels? Mostly just... nothing. You know. Here, I'll try the alien. I'll try the alien, lad. I like this guy. Um, so yeah, I will actually try care. I'll even give him a little bit of a UFO. Bob Lazar is gonna figure out how this thing works for us, everybody. Okay. What do I do in my panels? Not much. I let the audience figure that out for me. I just do a Q&A. And, uh, people ask me questions, I answer them poorly, if I can hear the question. It's- it's really- yeah, I mean, someone said, um, serious answer for those who want to know, it's like chilling with Vine Sauce Chat in person. Yeah, like, I get to hear when my jokes aren't funny because, well, I don't hear anything, that's how I know. Um... And- but, you know, everyone's, like, in my corner, so it's- it's easy. I don't really even have to go all that far out of my way, and people are really generous, and they... You know, it's- it's cool. It's really- it's easy. I don't get nervous at panels anymore, but this one was a little weird. I got a little nervy at first because the fucking room was so big, and there was, like... How many hundreds of people would you say were there, chat? Vinny, what will you do at TMG 2020? Probably die. There's like two to three hundred people. So not even that many compared to like how many people are at the stream. But still a lot, like you notice that shit in person for sure. Um... But yeah, Q&A, um, V-Dub showed up for a little bit, fake V-Dub. And, um, just talked, bullshitted. People would, like, bring me weird stuff. Like, I got a pizza cushion. I'm gonna use that for my eighth, So I can sit on it. It's a pizza cushion! Fucking hell. Um, couple cool games that were there that I haven't seen before. Some weird Vaporwave first-person shooter. Which we've seen Vaporwave a million times, but I... I was looking at it, I was like, hey, that looks alright. I'd play that. Don't remember what the name of it was. You know, they're still doing Vaporwave chat, is the answer to that question. Yes, they are. It's still happening. What was it called? Um... Fucking hell. Uh... Verlay Shoot? No. No. I don't know. I'll figure out the name of it eventually. Ooh. 
Still not that great with the timing. Okay, two boosts. One apple. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Right through the fucking boxes. Oof! Some interesting cosplays, like like weird human Kirby man it, or whatever that was. That was strange. Oh! Oh, I thought someone just like rocketed past me. That was actually a rocket. Sorry, this game is is very salty, and I won. Vinny, speaking of Vaporwave, Verlay Swing came out on Switch. Is it a good game? Is it worth 15 bucks? Um, it's good. Oh, they're Wumpa Fruits, not Apples. Come on. Vinny, they're Apples. They're not Apples, you Boomer. Wait a minute, but Boomers would know this game, according to the current definition of Boomer. That's... Wait a minute. How does that work? Did that just become, like, a, a generic insult? That's right, everybody. I am a baby boomer. That's correct. I was born directly after World War II, when all the soldiers came back and decided to start getting busy. Mm-hmm. That's me. I'm 73 years old. Yeah! Um... The version of this game on Switch is I'm pretty good. Tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Less good, but good. Wow. Okay, then. People in chat are calling him thick. Um, he just killed his friends. He, uh, sorry, his his minions, servants. He's still thick, though. Um, someone said, Vinny, this is a good question, does chat culture leak into the panel and you get heckled with wisecracks? Um, not this time so much. This time I think the auditorium was too big. I say auditorium, it was just a main stage. Um, no, not so much. Last year, yes. This year, no. I think people knew if they were gonna heckle, they'd have to make it good, because like 300 people were listening. It wouldn't just get lost in a sea of chat, everyone would turn to look at them. Um, that's my theory, at least. Um, but also, the place was too big, so if anyone said anything under their breath, or even just slightly above their breath, I wouldn't have been able to hear it anyway. You almost needed a microphone to get your voice across in that room. And I was, like, projecting as much as I could. Shit was still hard. Yeah! 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 So, but yeah, last year and the year before, and the year before that, the panel definitely had some people that, instead of asking questions, just, like, ho like, hollered. They hollered out loud. Part of this song almost sounds like Lady Madonna. Oh, eat dick!
Vinny, what's the weirdest thing that someone asked you while you were there? Um, not at the panel, but someone asked me if I moisturized. Not the weirdest question I've ever gotten, but that's the first one that comes to mind at the moment. And I was like, oh, that... I was like, thank you? They were like, no, it's... yes, it's a compliment, you look young. I was like, do you want to see my license? Do you want my social security number? What can I get for you? You want the wacky digits? But, it was good, it was all in good fun, it was all in good japes. Everyone was really, really super nice. Um, I don't remember the weirder questions. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'll see if the, the old man memory banks come alive in like um, a day or two. Oh! Boy, this is gonna be a fun one. So, I have a, a new thing I'm doing for my signings now, which is I'm bringing a Bluetooth speaker and I'm just playing music near me. Like, maybe no one else is able to hear it, but, like, I played fucking... Lonerism, Hail to the Thief, Hesitation Marks by Nine Inch Nails. Um... Wow, this is awful. And I played Animals by Pink Floyd. And those four albums, in their entirety, lasted all of the signing. And then I did more signing at my booth, and, I, and then I played more albums. Like, just random songs, rather, not albums, but yeah. So that was, um, that was good, though. It helped. There was, like, motivation involved when you hear music you like and you're trying to do the thing. It's good. Is there even... there's no point. It's just... no. How do you keep sanity while doing all this stuff like streaming, going to cons and such? I only go to three... three cons... Per year, three or four cons at most. Everything else, um, music is helpful. Um, disconnecting, not being on the internet if I can help it. CBT oil. Yeah, people were warning me about this race. That's a really fucking tricky moment right there. It's this level. This, this is becoming one of my least favorite things. I, I think I hate this level. Character with better handling. Yep. That sounds like a great idea. Fuck you! Try one more as, as Mr. Alien. Fuck! Gnort's Mr. Alien. I'm gonna try Gnort's Mr. Alien. This one last time. Okay, let's do a different character, huh? What's this? Do the shortcut right before that turn at the end that always messes you up. Do a drift, then jump off the little hill. Vinny, you need to look up the shortcut. Who had good turn? <laughs> this fucker again.
Okay, Robin, if you have that video, I'll take a look at that. First plants in the lap. Right after them, jump between the wall and the left before the hard turn. Okay. Vinny, so what was it like meeting a Muppet? I called, um, I called Arlo a puppet several times, and I don't think he liked that. Yeah, he's real. I found out he's actually real. He's a real puppet. I mean, Muppet. I mean, monster. What a... Uh. That's not the shortcut, is it? Looking for it. I'm looking. I'm looking around. It's between the two walls at the turn. The, the turn. Well, I don't know Dutch. I just can't reach the turn. Oh! Oh, that's a good blind jump. <laughs> Vinny, how did the autograph session go? We got to the line 40 minutes before, but we got cut off. Yeah, it got cut off early, but then I extended as much as I could, and I also signed at the booth for like another two hours, so you could have just, you know, you could have just found me, and I would have, you know, whatever. It sucked, though, yeah, it's just, but, like, I think there's some level of, like, you have to be some kind of, like, cyborg to sign for that long and still, like, actually have... A voice for uh. or to be able to make coherent sentences. Ah! I hate this level so very much. Was that a Pee Wee Herman scream? Vinny, did anybody ask you to play a game on stream? I got like seven or eight video game requests. And some people were very adamant about them. And I carefully explained that I, I get a lot every day and that I, I can't I can't do the things. And no, I don't remember the games. DMC2 was obviously one of them. I signed about seven copies of DMC2. It's no japes, by the way. That's real. A lot of people were like, I want you to sign my copy of Devil May Cry. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I never played this, you know that, right? They're like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's like, all right. beginning to think he's right, and I am so slow. Look how slow I am compared to him. He's cheating, though, so, I mean... Yeah.
Come on. If that didn't happen, I might have had more of a chance. You can eat every dick! And yet, somehow, I was still that close. Shit. Hey, Biddy, do you have any interesting stories about weirdos from the event? I want you to understand, even if I had stories like that, I would not tell them on stream. I'm not in the business of making fun of people. I don't want people to feel uncomfortable when they come to a signing. Sure, there was some awkwardness here and there. No, I'm not even trying to be, like, altruistic, but um, that's, like, a really shitty thing to do. It's just, like, and, and how would that be good for anyone? But, no, I mean, honestly, there really wasn't anything too weird this year. Like, it was pretty chill overall, and I'm not just saying that to save face. I don't think... I, I, I... I don't think I have any particular stories that I can recall that were, like, that weird. But people get nervous when they meet someone that they've been watching for a couple of years. You know, you listen to someone's fuck. You listen to someone fuck for a while. You know, you hear the walls shaking and rattling. And you want to uh, meet them online at a convention. You're going to be nervy. I still get nervous meeting James and, and you know, um, AVGN. DMs. Ooh. So, it's cheating, cheating motherfucker. I mean, I have enough trouble with drifting, but drifting on this level is even... I, I am afraid to even attempt it most of the time. Jumps are harder with Ripperoo because he's slow. Well, yeah, he's slower than the alien, and he's slower than Crash, so yeah, I can see that. Benny, this is the easiest boss. Bindi, you should be able to play this game. Please, you know the game. I can play this game. Why can't you play this game? This good game. Easy game. Please.
That's it. Okay, restart. Be crash. No, there's people that don't want me to be crash. They told me before. Okay, no. I will be crash if I can't succeed one more time as Ripperoo. One more time. One more time. Yeah, what now? Ah! Talk shit, get hit. fast. I will now become Crash Bandicoot. So this game is really bringing out the worst in me, isn't it? I will tell you um, a secret. I'll tell you a secret. Here's a secret about the convention I just went to. Too many games convention. Many of you heard the stories. Many of you are just joining. But here is the summation of my experience at this convention. This is what it was all leading to. I am sick of me. I'm just so sick of, of me. <laughs> It's nice to be me sometimes, but, you know, then I can't come back. I can't even play Crash Team Racing. But you may think hearing about yourself for a whole weekend is great. And, you know, having people tell you that you're, you're cool and everything. It's, um, it, it's, a, it, yeah. Does anyone want to trade? for a couple weeks. I like to go back to chat and have someone say, Beanie, this is baby game, you cannot play. And it's like, ah, there we go. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay, that was a joke, not an open invitation. But boy, yeah, I'm just I'm just glad it's over. I have one more convention this year. Uh Comic Con I may not go to, New York Comic Con. If I do, it'll just be just to look around for a day and then I'll just leave. But uh, I have one more convention. And it's a small one, it's a good one. It's it's Long Island RetroCon. And I did, that's the one I did last year where I did a, a panel in a fucking planetarium. And there's all these old um, planes, and it's like the history of aviation while you're, like, looking at video games. 
So if you get sick of video games or me, you get to see like planes and the space program. It's cool. It's a really good convention. I enjoyed it. it was, last year was my first year doing it, and this year is, um, it, you know, I'm doing it again because it's a good one. And it wasn't too bad too. It's not too busy. It's just a like a really easy, chill convention. I enjoyed the fuck out of it, and um, I'm not enjoying this right now though. Someone's saying change the cart. That doesn't seem to have any stat differences. I gotta just consistently do that, and figure out how to, con like, continue to do that, and then I might win. <laughs> Fuck you! Stop the rain! <laughs> this is the one, for sure. This is definitely it. I know because I got that item right away. This is the one. I'm really having trouble drifting. I think the the hover. If anything, it's just I'm not paying attention to the to the fucking the cues of when it's time to boost. On the hover mob mobile. Again, I keep looking at the bottom left or the bottom right rather. And not the, uh, the smoke. I have to do that more. Good. Good. I choose the one game I can't actually speak. Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. Maybe I could just, you know, rest my voice a little instead of doing a Satan voice and singing Freddie Mercury.
This is the one. I can tell because I got a cool TNT box right in the beginning. Didn't I beat the first boss of this game on, on the first try? I'm not saying that the boss was like, you know, that hard necessarily, but still. People are saying get a better car. I mean, aside from the cosmetic of it, there's no difference between the vehicles, right? It's just character difference. It's all character. There is no stat difference between characters, chat. This is not Mario Kart. Try not to waste my rockets. Oh! Please. I love how the potions blend into the background, too. That's another cool favorite thing of mine. They, they like, blend right into the, the green patches. Oh, so... so cool. I wish this was Diddy Kong Racing, where you could get ten rockets instead of three. That was my own That was my own bear! That was my own climb! Big a poo poo. That's right. Big a poo poo. Fuck! Vinny, you need to be slide boosting 90% of the time when you are playing. Oh, well, that, that solves it. I know that's correct on some level. I do know that's correct, but it's easier said than done, especially on a level like this. And especially when the level gets filled with horse shit.
Eat it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Shit. Oh, God! Red potion. I'm good now. I'm, uh, deep breathing has, has served me well. Yeah, I was doing better. You know what made me actually improve a bit? Turning off the goddamn meter on the bottom right. So... I could only look at the smoke. For drifting purposes. Also, I still have to get used to the fact that this is not Mario Kart. And the drifting is, is a little different. Well, it's quite different. Alright, that's a restart. Is there a way to, like, permanently kill this guy? His speed is that of always having the mask. Got eaten by the plant again. Sound like Crash has a sore throat. You hear that? It's like it's like an older Crash. Maybe the voice actor's old. Please hit that. Please hit this.
Captain N, Video Game Master. <sighs> um, here is a weird question that I got at the convention, which is, someone said, Vinny, when I play your music on my car, stereo, it automatically puts up a weird picture. And this is the picture. Is that Red Fox? It's Red Fox. Yep, that's him. Well, so that's not our album cover. Um, Red Fox is not, in fact, related to uh, our band. Maybe Papu hmm. not eating a big breakfast. <laughs> a lot of people's uh, systems do that, apparently. Fast for being so apparently. Here's key to hell. Here's key to hell. Oxide, much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. I feel like I just survived hell. Um, Vinny, any interesting smells? Not too many. Not worse than New York Comic Con. Oh, well. Fucking did it. Game over. The trophy belongs to Gasmoxia. I'm done. Finish the game. I'm gonna have to go through and collect all of those other tokens, aren't I? Oh, that's gonna be fun. No, I'm not gonna do that, actually. I have I have no plans for that. Just gonna go through the, the single player going to enjoy the single player uh, and then do some multiplayer stuff eventually, like online races. Vinny, there's a Risk of Rain 2 update tomorrow at 8am. Oh, I'm, that's good. I want to see what that's all about. The only stuff worth doing for the purple stuff. Oh, th this stuff. This is how you unlock fake crash. Look what these sons of bitches are doing. Look what they're doing. They're putting TNT. Behind the crystals. Or in front of the crystals. Or both. Fuck off. Is this like a battle mode map from Mario Kart? Because it kind of looks like one. Yeah, so this was a cool game when it first came out, but again, I never owned it. I just played some multiplayer and played the demo, and I, I thought, wow, that's a really good-looking PlayStation 1 game. I used to think just because N64 was more powerful on, a, like, on some technical specs, like it had 64 instead of 32, that it was the console that just, def like, by default looked better, but N64 games, so many of them have aged very poorly and look like a big, blurry, soupy mess of ass. Meanwhile, PlayStation 1 games, if you up them a bit, not as bad, some of them. Obviously, some of them also look like shit. Yeah, the texture filtering on the N64 was was the worst part. Yeah, and I remember Ocarina of Time in particular. I just I I know those big those big Hyrule field textures look like smeared poop. But there are some N64 games that look fantastic. Banjo Kazooie, for example. 
perfect dark. That game looked great. I mean, the frame rates were, were fucking terrible, but... It had its, um, you know... It had its moments where it was actually surprisingly good-looking, and then GoldenEye was... GoldenEye was just, uh, like, really foggy. Good. Well, yeah, we'll just go nice and slow. That way I can, like, fail the challenge. That's cool. Gotta go slow. So the N64 had a couple decent-looking games. I mean, still some that if you just, like, stretch the resolution, they look good. But PS1, by and large, just because of the texture filtering alone. But the Naughty Dog games always look pretty good. Crash looked good in general. CTR looked amazing. See what I can do here. Come on. Um, I have a whole new shovelware showcase just based on the shit that people gave me at the convention. I thought I was done playing shitty Wii games. I thought I did all of the shitty Wii games. Nope. This is a tough one. If you miss going for any crystal, restart right away. How is that? Tank TNT hits and hop them off. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's what they meant. Okay, one more restart. One more restart. Come on. Come on. Give me the give me the good one. Give me the good one. This is the good one right here. Of, cur of course my first stream back from a very long, very overwhelming convention would be a very frustrating video game. Come on! So I'm, I'm detecting an order that you can go in. Even though I just disregarded that order completely just now.
Faffin. Just faffin about not doing anything of any any use. Let's try again. I'll give this a couple more tries and then we'll see. Well, this game really does not fuck around. I could probably come back to this if anything, but yeah, this is this is a really difficult game. Yeah. People are saying you should have just played Minecraft. Total opposite. That's okay, I'm sure my friend Pedro will be nice and relaxing. Just what I need. Okay, here we go. Maybe- oh, It's okay, I can get that. Oh, fuck. Effing cock, he said, just now? I don't think he said effing cock, chat. I'm pretty sure he didn't say that. I'd like to believe he did, so let's just say he did, but I don't think he did. Punk. He said paley. Oh, he said effing punk. This is my last try. This next one will be my last try. Crash Team Racing, huh? That's the name of the game, isn't it? Did you ever just get, like, struck with a moment? A dreadful thought, like, oh fuck. Did I leave something in my hotel room? Because I just had that. I'm like going over in my mind everything that I packed, and I'm pretty sure I got everything, but holy fuck. I just had like a, a really bizarre panic attack moment for no reason. Like, did I leave my, my Tingle doll at the hotel? One more. Last one, last one. I also... I'm, I'm also a weirdo, I bring my guitar. To... Conventions. Not to play them for anyone, just to have it in the room. That would be cool, right? If I forgot my guitar in the room. My my nice expensive guitar, that would be cool. And then the hotel's like, yeah, we don't know what happened to it, sorry. Suddenly PJ and the Maids, best band ever, comes out playing Green Gretsch. Where'd they get that from? I don't know.
Yeah, this is uh, infuriating. This is just about knowing the optimal route, isn't it? Hmm. Did you write any music while away? Not this time. In Boston, I did. <clears throat> I, I wrote a song called Boston! New York Yankees are better. Boston! I want to recommend, any, anyone's from New York that goes to one of these conventions and has to take an Uber in Boston. So if you're at PAX, if you're at Boston, and you take an Uber. If you mention you're from New York, they will ask you if you're a Yankees fan. If you get a real Boston guy. Just don't say it. If you are, you're not. They'll throw you out the fucking car and you'll still give them a five-star rating. They take their baseball very seriously. Vinny, did you get your cheesesteak or go to Wawa? I went to Wawa. Wawa has good iced coffee. Um, their food was not doing it for me exactly. It was like, yeah, utility food. Just to eat something before the convention. The sandwiches are fine. I don't dislike Wawa sandwiches at all. I think, in fact, they're quite good. But for some reason, I wasn't feeling it. This year. Maybe I was getting the wrong sandwiches? I don't know. But, um... No cheesesteak, though. Sadly. I think it was two years ago that I actually went to Philadelphia after the convention, and I just... I went into the city and I was just like, hey, where's the best cheesesteak? And I went to, like, the best place I could find. And that was great. That was a good adventure. This year, I had no patience for such adventures. Here's a little surprise. I actually stopped at the studio to hang out with Joe for a couple, you know, a couple minutes. Maybe like an hour. Before his session. Just when I got back. I was like, oh, I, I could, I could use a familiar face and I could use like some, you know, something. Just something to do. I don't know, I can't explain. I had a really good time. I had a lot of good people there. I just felt so... not myself. After this thing was done. Kinda just felt like a commodity. I don't mean to bitch. I mean, I am, so I guess I mean to bitch, but... Yeah. It's just a weird thing. But, uh... Take my word for it, I did have a good time. I'm just looking forward to getting back to normalcy. Which, of course, is screaming like a lunatic at baby video games. Left of the first ice lake is a shortcut. Okay. Vinny, when's your next con? Like, two months from now. That's only a day. The Long Island con, I only go for one day. I drive there, I drive back. Easy. Chill. That's- that's not a problem. It's the weekend-long, you know, four-day cons. They can take a lot out of you. Which day? I don't know which day I'm going, actually. I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, I'm gonna try to look for the shortcut. Let's just go real slow. As Christopher Walken would say, you gotta go real slow. You're slower than ever, you the slide 
Okay. It's a way better than a uh, level than that shitty plant one. But it's still got some pretty, um, there's some areas I'm not sure, like, oh, is that accessible? If you fuck that one up, you go back. So Melon did a tier list for the White Stripes albums. And he doesn't like Icky Thump or Get Behind Me Satan. Uh, <laughs> Satan. Satan? It's Satan's half-brother, I guess. I'm a weirdo, because I got their, like, first album that I got into was Get Behind Me, Satan. I know it's not their best. But that was the one that came out, and, you know, I was like, oh, I like these songs. They're weird. Granted, upon subsequent re-listens, I do skip a lot of songs. Icky Thump, though, I think is, is great got some weak stuff on there, too. I don't like that loud bagpipe shit. <laughs> Didn't do anything for me then, nor does it do anything for me now, but... Some good songs on there. Um, that said, I love this new Raconteur's record. Help a stranger. So I'm gonna actually buy the vinyl, and one day, I will listen to it on a record player. I don't have one now, but I will eventually do that. But I want to support them because they're making music I really like. It's weird because I like Brendan's songs more than Jack's. For anyone, all 13 of you that know what I'm talking about. But there are uh, two, basically, so Jack White co-writes the songs with Brendan. And, um, on the Rock and Tours albums. And they have kind of similar, but also kind of different styles. But they work really well together, they complement each other. Um, Jack just sounds angry. It's one of my problems with some of his recent music. Like, he just sounds very angry. And I miss some of the stuff from his earlier albums where he had, like, kind of a sweeter tone to his voice. I like that tone. And now he just shouts and hollers a lot. Vinny, what the fuck is a song? Yeah, I don't know. Vinny, are you looking forward to the new Black Keys album on Friday? No, actually. I was. And then I heard the singles. And then they called the album Let's Rock. What? I, I don't know. I don't think I have very high hopes for it. I would like to be proven wrong. Boy, I'm, I'm playing this game like shit. That crash noise is disgusting. I hate it. Stop, crash! Okay, here we go. Come on, I can do this. I gotta just... just drift all over the fucking place. That's penises. 
double penises. Vinny, are you still enjoying the game? I will get my parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game, I think. I know a lot of this is my own fault, but this is not just one of those casual pick up and play like, oh, it's a kart racing game, you're fine. Got it. Just gonna do the drifting. It's okay, my friend Pedro is gonna be a nice, chill, relaxing stream. I, I guarantee it. That's not the right way. Fuck! Tomorrow I'll probably do Bloodstained. Um, I got my physical copy of Bloodstained. It was a Switch copy, which I heard the Switch version of Bloodstain is not all that amazing. Which I hate that that's a trend. But I heard um, a lot of, well, obviously visual hits, but it just plays kind of chunky. 30, listen, it's a side scroller. 30 FPS isn't the end of the world. Like, there are some games like this, or, you know, well, this isn't even 30, uh, this isn't even 60. But there are some games that 60 works better for. Fighting games, racing games. Um, I care about frame rates, but for a game like Bloodstained, that, that really wouldn't bother me that much. But I hear it has some like input lag. I could be telling tall tales out of school. If that's the correct phrase, but um, that and it's like the Vaseline filter is applied again. And people are waiting for the update to see if it fixes it. So it's one of those things. Oh, that's that's a helpful item. Thank you for that cool item. Vinny, are you going to buy anything on the Steam sale tomorrow? I didn't even know that was happening. Switch still hasn't gotten the day one patch. I would wait a bit before playing it on Switch. Okay, so they still need to patch the game. Bloodstain, that is. Half-Life this week? Uh, maybe. I'm gonna see if I can finish some other stuff, or depending on how much I end up playing, um... Uh, my friend Pedro. Why? <laughs> this game sounds like a bunch of meat. Like there's meat creatures making the voices for the characters. Here's a Lots of like gurgling and yowing and. Meat was a very popular topic at the uh, convention, if anyone was wondering. If you couldn't already maybe make the assumption that such a thing was going to happen. But yes, people were, um, yowing and... They were giving me, uh, meat drawings and, and, um, meat figurines. And, like, a, there was a little, like, diorama that someone made for me that I'll show off at some point. I had, like, a little meat in it. So, meat was a, a pretty big... And it's still a pretty big thing. People like that meat. If only I could buy one of those little meat boys off of Kevin Yeager, I'd be very happy. Hey! 
Ooh, yes. Now the long decline begins. Here we go. So that, oh, by the way, that shortcut, I've been meaning to comment on the shortcut that I was told about. It looks cool. I can't fucking get over there. Maybe I need more skill? Here we go. Time to get third place again. Motherfucker! Uh, dreams will be this week as well. At some point. Maybe like closer to the end of the week. I was going to save this mask until the shortcut, but... Got locked on to. Also, it's amazing how the motion blur in this game... ...is, like, totally tolerable. It's per-object motion blur, I believe, as opposed to Spyro's... ...let's smear the screen together. I actually like motion blur when it's done subtly. It can be- it can be nice. Like that boulder, for example. That boulder looked... ...particularly motion blurry in a good way. Motion blur is only useful in hiding bad frame rates. I mean, you say the word only when you could have just as easily said is also good at hiding bad frame rates. It is. But if you do 60 FPS, you have a game that looks good, is fluid, and you have like still subtle motion blur on some objects, that could be all right. Camera motion blur is fucking terrible, I agree. Not always, but most of the time. It's like the first option I turn off. It's also really bad for streaming. Most of you... ...that watch my streams... ...are well aware... ...that I have to turn that shit off... ...very quickly. Because the bitrate just eats its own dick. So, um, I don't have many more stories from too many games. One of the reasons I didn't do a specific, like, thing is because, no, I didn't get a chance to take video. Packs, I can walk around. I can kind of stay kind of anonymous for a little while. And I feel like... You know, at Packs, I can go maybe five, ten minutes. <laughs> maybe fifteen, if I'm lucky. Which is, again, it's a good problem to have, that people like you and want to say hi to you. But it's still something that can, you know, like if you're just walking, you want to go to the bathroom. Oh, that was the thing that happened. Here, I'll tell you one thing that happened. It was time to take a piss. And I was, um... I went to the bathroom. I walk out of the bathroom. Someone sees me walk out of the bathroom. And says, Hey Vinny, what are you up to? I said, oh, I just took a piss. And they're like, oh cool. I said, yeah. And then I just walked back to my booth. That was, like, one of the best interactions I had. Woo! 
Okay, this is a Wario's gold mine. It, wow, it, this is very, very similar to that Wario level. Nintendo was ripping this shit off, I think. Or Wario just owns every gold mine. My character sounds like, um, that weird Mario voice from Mario Teaches Typing. That works for me! this level a bit. A lot. Vinny, did you get any interesting donations at Too Many Games? What do you mean, like game donations? Uh, mostly shovelware, yeah. I have, um... All my stuff is still in my trunk. So I have... <laughs> not all of it, but just the stuff that people, um... That people gave me, mostly. And I have to go get it. But not tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna take inventory of the stuff I got, the weird stuff in particular. And I'll- I'll let you know what it was, but I do have another- another shovelware showcase ready to go. And I also have, um, as I mentioned earlier, a pizza cushion. So that counts, right? It's like a cushion for your- your bum when you sit. But, yeah, I mean, really, not too many stories, because there was just so many people, and I didn't get it really- I didn't get a chance to really do much. And, um, it was mostly just, like, minute-long interactions, and then the weekend was over, and I was like, wow, okay. But, as I said earlier, I mean, the best part was getting a chance to actually speak to people, you know, my friends and stuff, and actually talk for, like, a little while. <laughs> that didn't happen too often, but... When it did, it was nice. Um, I'm trying to think of dinner at Hibachi yesterday. For dinner, I had pizza at Uno one day because it's there. It's chain pizza, but it's not too bad. That that was actually. Interesting, because it tasted good. I liked it, for the most part. Indigestion hit real hard. That was like every hour on the hour, I had to have a new tum. God! another hard level to drift properly because I'm like drifting into fucking walls I will get my parking lot Look at the mini map there's a shortcut at the loop part okay okay I think I'm going to switch character for this one then you have Chalky Boys as the handout at the next convention.
can I, actually can someone look up if you can get your own custom antacids? Because I was able to get custom hand sanitizer, I was able to get custom lip balm, which I was calling Chapstick incorrectly for the past several months. I call it Vine Sauce Chapstick. But Chapstick is a brand. So you can't really, you know, it's like Xerox. You know, Xerox is a brand, it just kind of became the generic thing, Kleenex, same thing. Um, that's why Nintendo made sure that people called them video games and not Nintendos or something like that, right? Yeah. Look it up. Consoles. Game consoles. They, okay, they pushed the term game consoles because they didn't want people to call just generic games and consoles Nintendos because they were. Because they could lose the copyright. It's a weird system, and I might not be explaining it 100% um, correctly. But anyway, so I'm calling the, the Vine Sauce Chapstick Chapstick, and, and that's just a brand. When you turn too hard. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's custom antacids. I wouldn't be surprised if you could make your own chalky boys. But I mean, antacids aren't really good for you. I've been trying to like kind of stay off of them as much as possible. Like I'm not eating those fucking things like candy like I used to. Um, I have a good probiotic now that I've been taking. My gut biome has been better. <laughs> I know they told me. You know, my gut. And, uh, trust your gut. Um, I even have better stuff for indigestion now that isn't just, uh, Tums. Which is apple cider vinegar is one thing, but that's a different thing altogether. Talked about that on stream. And this thing that's good for indigestion, it's like a vitamin from a vitamin company. So Tums, you know, they're there, they're useful. If you need them, they're good, they're chalky. They're boys. What I don't like about them is that you take them, you start to rely on them, and then they make it so that you get, like, more indigestion in the long run. So I'm, like, a little worried about making antacids, um, that are like Tums for people, because... I don't want people to get hooked on Tums or eat them like candy, because people are gonna... You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give them out, and at least three people are gonna start thinking that they're just candy. And they're gonna eat a whole thing of Tums and foam at the mouth and become Rich Evans. And only Rich Evans should be Rich Evans. Well, I got third place this time. I finally got a chance to um, hang out with Ant Dude a little bit. If you know who he is. Ant Dude is, is a nice dude. Is my, um... Is my answer. Ants! Ants Dude! Not Paul Rudd. Anyway, yeah, I see the shortcut. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to get there, so I'm gonna do it this time for sure. I see it. I see it. Last time I was trying to focus on the race, but I clearly am not... ...able to do that and win. I am going to win! That's what he says. That's what Wario says. War Warlow. It's a Wario puppet. Hey guys, wait for me!
I don't know about that shortcut. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe that wasn't the shortcut. It just looked like ass. <laughs> you keep going off track into stuff that makes you slow. Be Coco. Vinny, do you feel slightly agitated? I know you want the salt. I know that's what people come here for when they watch these racing streams. Like, you like my kart racing because I get salty, right? You got it! This is what you're here for? This is what I'm here for. Let's do this. I feel like... I feel like punting a baby. Now clip that. Clip that, send it to Activision. Tell them that their game makes people want to punt babies. That's right, people. Not just me, but other people as well. I'm sure... Right, guys? Alright, now I'll take a look at the viewer numbers. Let's see if they drop or if they rise after the punting babies comment. Just curious. I want to see what my audience is into. That's all. Appears to be rising, for the time being. Okay, so the market tests show that the the people like to hear about such things. Hmm. Market study. Fascinating. Boy, this level is painful. Yeah, Mr. Gatums. gotta slow the fuck down right there. That, that's an imperative slowdown. Good rockets. And actually, for the record, yes, we did gain viewers. change character. I I'll try this one more time. I mean, it is rewarding when you finally complete a race. It's like the Bloodborne of, of racing souls. Isn't it? Oh! I see Smaug over there. That means the ring must be in that pile somewhere, chat. What would... Okay, what would happen if Crash Bandicoot put the ring up his bum. Would Sauron still be able to find it?
Wouldn't it be real if bandicoots were cool? That's a fun thing that happens. When that happens. Turn, it's the turn more than anything else. Oh, Marf. We're going to space, Marf. Oh, what? A goddamn level that was. Vinny, isn't that the level where the boss is? Oh, good! Yeah, cart racing. Hey, Mario, do you want to go cart racing? I can't believe I have nothing else to talk about. Vinny, please change your car into a cart. Change your car into a cart. Yeah. I never doubted it. Yep. I think today my brain is just not working. I think today my brain's broken. gonna get a little broken, Stan. Oh my god, what is this level? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna say, what is this level every level from here on out, aren't I? These are some cool turns. This will, <laughs> this will probably be my last level of the night until I um, return to the game sometime after I've lost the will to... Uh... Oh, never mind. Anyway, good game, but yeah, I'm going to move on to my friend Pedro after this, I believe.
try to do the level. Let's see if I can do it. I might be able to. Please stop. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Can we go... You know what? I like that first level in the game quite a bit. The one with, um... Like, three turns. Oh, that was cool. I like that level a lot. No hazards, three turns? Fuck yeah. Place and I get the equivalent of a banana. Boyga. I'm doing the breaking mechanics very differently in this game than I should because I keep thinking I'm playing Mario Kart 8. Close, but it's not quite the same thing. I think you have to actually let your finger off the gas in this one. Vinny, my friend Pedro is kind of ass, just letting you know. Oh, I heard it was- it was pretty good. Let's, let me check. Let me go to PCNutsack.com and get the real scoop. I want to get the real review. I only trust PCNutsack.com for my PC game reviews. Oh, they gave it four nuts out of five. That's not bad. Maybe I'll like it. I'm a little worried about the banana. In my friend Pedro. I'm worried that the humor is going to be very random banana-centric. I can't read the chat, so if you're warning me about the game, now is not the time, but... I'm not, like, worried, like, oh god, it's gonna ruin my life, but I'm just wondering, like, or, what the tone of the game is going to be. I guess we'll find out shortly. Now that is good shortcut. So that's the thing that keeps happening. When I'm at the convention, people say, do a voice, Vinny. Do a voice. And then I do the voice, and they're like, it's weird seeing you do the voice. Like, it's weird seeing the voice come out of your face. I'm like, well, you, you asked for it. Of course it looks weird. Who the fuck talks like this? Hey, go, it's like bling, get gold! <laughs> the one person in the world that sounds exactly like that is gonna email me and complain. That's a shame. <laughs> 
sixth place. It's a long fucking lick. This is a minute. I lost 11 seconds or 12 seconds or so. So that was bad. That was a long lap. That lap fucking sucked. Come on. Come on. One more time. One more lap. Make it good. It's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Here it is. The comeback of the century. That's not fair. Well, it was better. It was a better lap than the previous one. Let's try again. This is it. Hey, Chad, I have a question. Where do you buy records? I saw a lot of people just say online. The antique store. Every single music store that I know of, that I've ever been to, that's local, that's close enough to me, aside from Manhattan, which is not that local, um, has closed down. And I want to get that Wreck and Tours record, but I don't know if I want to get it online because it's going to be a while. So I'm wondering, like, is there any store that actually has the, um, the record. That's what my, my guess is. I'm trying to think. Maybe, like, Best Buy? Or some shit like that. They have, like, a couple. Well, not really. Barely. I guess online or drive an hour. Well, Target, I guess. Imagine a world where you have to go to Target to buy music. You don't have to imagine it. It's here. Imagine a world where you have to buy music. It's just a couple of years ago, actually. It's still, like, crazy to me thinking about... Like, okay, there's the radio, so you'd hear some songs on the radio, sure. But there was, you know, in the 60s, 70s, you just had to go to a record store, buy the record. And then, you know, you spend your savings on a record, and it's just one album. And you listen to that album, and that's the whole album, and you have the album. Ass. It's like, even when I was growing up, like, so we had CDs, and then that started going, you know, online, you'd download MP3s. And then, of course, LimeWire, and Kaza, and Bonzi Buddy, and what was the other one? Napster. I think I said that. Yeah, Napster. It was cool, sometimes you get the Beatles album, sometimes you get a virus. It's a good time. But it was also, like, a really slow download, so you'd have to, like, get one song at a time. But I still had the advantage of being able to pretty much burn CDs. People would, like, you know, burn you, like, the entire Beatles discography in just a couple, like, data CDs, where you could just pop them into your computer, and you have all the MP3s. That's how I got into Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix. Someone burned me a CD with MP3s on it, and it had, like, all of their shit. 
so I didn't quite grow up in the time where you'd have to save for like a week and then buy one single record. Good timing on that. Very good timing on that. That's, uh, yep, that's good. Thanks. level has an illegal shortcut. Do you want a video of how to do it? Um, no, I'll probably just figure it out. Try one more time. An illegal shortcut, everybody. Open up! It's the cops! I, I love the idea of, like, a traditional burglar outfit with the, the stripes and the burglar mask. That's, like, my favorite thing right now. Uh, because I'm semi-delirious, but also because I think it's just funny that, like, even burglars have, like, a uniform that they're known for. Imagine wearing that when you go to burgle. Like, just the, the very idea that a burglar would have a distinct costume is funny to me, considering that their whole fucking line of work is comprised of them blending in and being invisible as best, as best as possible, and they have a uniform. It's like, that is some fucking low-quality burgling that you'd be doing. Just like low-quality commentary here on this stream. I'm gonna show you, there's a the picture, there's a, actually in Monty Python's, and now for something completely different, John Cleese plays one of those burglars, and he's wearing the exact outfit. And it's perfect. And he's even got the little mustache, I think. I gotta get the picture of that. But, but for now, I must race. I'm ready for third place yet again, please. Just racing. Just racing. For sale. Anyone want to buy a stream? Ah, sorry. Okay, let's let's take a look. I need energy. John Cleese, burglar. Burglar. John Cleese Burglar. Not the best picture I could find of it, but it's close enough. <laughs> this is, shouldn't be funny to me right now. It, it really is not that funny at all, in fact. Just the outfit itself should not elicit a laugh, but yet I'm laughing. I wonder if there's ever been, like, a museum dedicated to burglars.
There's museums dedicated to, like, weird body shit. Stuff Jay Bauman would like. But I don't know about burglars. That's right, Jay. I like how Mike has trained Jay to do his own Star Trek references. In the Chucky review, Jay is like, Oh, they're from Star Trek IV, aren't they? And Mike is like, That's right, Jay. So now, like, Mike, like, tricked him into making a Star Trek reference. I was so proud of both of them, actually. That was a really good moment. I would love to know, like, if I could ask Mike Stokwaza a question right now, to get just one question of all the questions, it would be, how many times have you seen each steer series of Star Trek? Each series. Because I've seen TNG like three or four times all the way through. Ooh! And um, Voyager once and barely. Uh, Deep Space Nine once, but I've seen multiple episodes. The original series twice. So like, but TNG, I've seen some episodes like half a dozen times, seven, seven, eight times. Like the good ones, the ones I like. And that just cost me the race right there. I've seen the movies a lot. Oh, let's just jump over that. We don't need that. We don't need no speed boost vacation. We don't need no thought control. This game is having a laugh. This is really the best way to learn these courses, though. I'll tell you that much. Because now... The muscle memory is starting to kick in for certain parts of the track, and just trauma. I'm learning through sheer trauma. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, we got another one! <laughs> For a character with really good handling, that... It was a little too easy to not make that turn.
Right. Okay, come on. I got a chance here. This is my first video game in four days, by the way. Yes, I went to a convention called Too Many Games. I play none of the games. FUCK YOU! FUCK YOU! I got rid of my shield, and a second later! You can give me a better item than that, please! Suck in place. Suck in place! I got more strep wine. Sin City bought me more strep wine. I haven't cracked it open, but I will. Eventually. Looking forward to another two-week break from health. Feeling good. Boy, that strep is something else, isn't it? That, um, that strep sabbatical I took was actually brought up several times at the convention. I don't remember the context, but people would, you know, mentioned different things to me when they would come up to the table. Whatever, just random shit. A couple people mentioned the strep. So you working on a new uh, case of strep, Vin? That kind of stuff. Me. Love it. In third place. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Come up for you. Come on. Not, not coming for you with that item. Son. Wrong item, game. Game, these are the incorrect items.
<laughs> where, where did he get the boost from? Where, where, where'd that boost come from? I mean, you know, I know that people want to see my friend Pedro. I, I have to do the level. Pick ding... Dingo dial? Dingo dial. You want me to pick dingo dial? Is Dingo Dial like DMC2? <laughs> Crash is a little faster. Again, there's a, a, a mid level of skill, intermediate skill. He's pretty much just jack of all trades. Maybe that's what I need for this level. I don't know. I don't know anymore. You cheating bastards. Maybe. Can't wait to do online for this. Oh, man. Good. Boost everywhere, Vinny. And then I boost one time and I fucking hit a wall. I'm love. I am love. There. What are you doing there, man? Where are you gonna go for a ride, for a swim? Do you want to uh, go fucking into the water there? Beautiful. Beautiful. Me and you, once again. Tell me what you want me to do to paper. Oh, I needed an item there. Ah. I fucking god love this. Save the queen. Walk I. I. This is not an act. I am... 
I'm in pain. Please. Please help. Yeah. Fuck you, Cortex! Whoa! Whoa! And this item distribution makes no fucking sense to me. Every time I try to jerk drift on this level, I, it just, I go into a wall. mistakes that I'm making. I guess I just didn't like having a lead. I also point out Crash is so much worse on the ice. As far as I can tell. Come on. Well, I should still do this. Good item here. Come on. Fuck this item very much. And that's it. That's a wrap, lads. Hope you enjoyed watching Crash Team Racing. Don't know why I can't make that jump all of a sudden. Had it before. Can't get it now. Oh, well, we don't need an item either. <laughs> we don't need those items. We don't need no item occasions. Of course I have to get stuck on the level that takes three minutes or more to complete. Vinny, please never play this game again. Oh, oh I see it has its fans. Someone decided that that was a good voice for Crash. Someone at Activision, probably the um, surprise mechanics department. So they're no longer loot boxes, by the way. They're surprise mechanics, according to EA. That was a cool thing that happened recently. Super ethical. Totally cool. Very ethical, very cool. Probably someone in that department over at Activision was like, Hey, let's this, uh... That time I didn't even jump.
gonna be the one. Come on. Feel it. Oh wait, no, that's just an itch. God, the, the drifts on ice are fucking terrible. Not recommend. No recommendado. I want to see a replay of that in slow motion because I was not very close to that box in my reckoning. So I don't know what kind of shit boxes we're dealing with here, but... I want to see the proof! Give me a better... There we go. Vinny, please never play this again. So someone gave me slime. I don't mean just slimy germs, which can happen sometimes at conventions, but I mean, at the convention, I was given slime. And, um, this will be it right here. I'm gonna win this time. Um, for sure. For sure. And, uh, we filmed it. Grant, who made some stuff for the stream over the years, uh, filmed it in slow motion, and I have that footage awaiting your viewing pleasure. Not now, but on a future stream, of course. It's almost like putting drop two, almost like. Keep my mouth shut and win this. And enjoy the present. Double, double shortcut. Oh, fuck. This could be it then. Just 
Just when I was starting to enjoy myself. It's like when Han Solo was trying to get the Millennium Falcon out of the asteroid field. It just needed the ship to not be a piece of shit. No risk. I got like a vision of the future where I fucked that up and I and I lost. Boy, that was fun. All right, well, that's your Crash Team Racing stream. It's amazing they didn't rubber band quite as much. I was expecting at the last second someone to just teleport three feet behind me, but it didn't happen, so that's good. No teleportado. Uh, we'll check out my friend Pedro, see if it's any good, and if it is good, I'll come back to it at some point in the future. But, I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Going to, hopefully, the game just saves, right? I mean... Congratulations, you win a trophy. I feel nothing, thank you. So where does, um, so I have to actually save the game, right? There were save points. Or I can just quit out of this. Save for safety, it auto-saves, go to save station. Oh, that's the green, right, okay. Now, it says 25%, but that just means I didn't do all the extra shit. I'm just gonna go through the main story, maybe a couple extra levels here and there, but that's it. I... I do not have the ability to do every... I don't have... no, I don't have the patience to do everything in this fucking game. It is a good game, but it is highly frustrating for someone who does not know how to play it. Um, and someone who's like generally kind of like on the bad side of video games. So... Good game, though. I will return to it because I do enjoy it. And it's it's a very rewarding feeling when you win. All right. Take a break. You take a break, I take a break real quick. Here's a uh, previous BRB and um I'm going to do another Rock and Tour song from their new album because I enjoy very much and this one is this one's good. And then after that, my friend Pedro. Let me turn my TV off now so it doesn't interrupt the song, because that does that. <sighs> Thank you for your patience. This stream and all the saltiness and bad jokes that go along with it will be back in a couple minutes. That's right, he's my friend. My friend, Pedro, not yours. Mine. TV, please turn off. Did you ever go to school with someone who would brag about being friends with someone else? Like, no, they're my friend, not yours. Man, we were stupid when we were kids, weren't we? 
small humans. Be right back.